kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. kids we are back happy monday so um it is really really windy doesn't look like it maybe you can hear it not the best day to do a maiden on a boat that i built last year that i can't remember where the hell anything's at on <laughs> so today is the super sport maiden what we're gonna do i set this up per uh the manual okay it's all bench settings right now i've not run it in the lake nothing like that not set anything up uh, and then we built this last year on the channel and uh, if you look in the playlist there's the whole build there this is the zip kit super sport it has a mod 30 in it and I can't for the life of me remember what it is I bought it off one of my buddies but it is a brand new engine so there's a couple things against us here brand new engine brand new build <sighs> yeah so I and it's really windy I think what we're gonna do is just run some laps with it see how it goes um, I talked to Joe last season about this particular build, and he said what the biggest mistake people make, and we are running the whatever prop that they suggest in the in the manual. I'll put a link to the manual in the description of this video. Um, he, he said doing the the turn fins, I believe he said the turn fins and the tabs will make or break this boat when it's running. All right, so I set it up per you know as good as I could on the bench i personally think that rudder is way too long okay it's way down there i would chop it right there which we may um but look at that dirty i could have cleaned it i guess uh we built this on the channel never got a chance to run it between the weather and no water <laughs> in the lake um so this is going to be the maiden doubt we're going to do the setup today i might do some engine tuning um, but what I want to do is I want to uh, run this thing and then see what Joe thinks. I'm going to email him and say, hey, watch this video. What are your initial thoughts? And then maybe tomorrow, if it's a little bit nicer out, I want a little bit more calmer weather. Um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead. And I want this engine to get wore in a little bit. And uh, we'll get that tuned. Once the engine's tuned, we'll tune the hull. And then we can tweak the engine to the hull. Uh, so that's really about it. We're gonna see what happens here. I'm not worried about it flipping in the wind or anything like that. Um, more worried about flipping from turning because that rudder's so long. Now, something I wanna point out, I came upon a happy accident today. I built a new uh, frame to put in this trailer to bring it down my monster hill. Um, and I was thinking, you know, I always get annoyed with my foam coming off. And I'm like, well, you know, the protectors so i figured well i could glue them on or i could do this i usually zip strip them like that one on the beach there and then i bought well i had um you know that saran wrap you buy for packing when you're when you're moving or something like that it comes out of roll it's saran wrap and you you know wrap packages with it or boxes or whatever else I thought man i'm gonna use that stuff to hold my foam on because i have like five rolls of it and something I found out, which is really kind of cool, that stuff sticks like, look, this boat is not clamped in at all, okay? That is literally just, listen, that is literally just the saran wrap holding it on. So I know most people don't bring their, have a lake in their front yard or bring it down a huge hill on a tractor like me, but what it is good for, A, keeps your foam on, B, it will, um, if, if you want to test run your engine in the yard or something, it'll really help it stay in the stand without it flipping out. A normal household saran wrap will work too, so whatever. So let's go ahead and fire this guy up. Cross your fingers, kids. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> All right, where's the zapper? Did I leave my remote up there? Son of a gun, I did. Ass. Well, I guess we'll just have to be right back. Right, well, that's the nice thing about living where I live. If I forget my radio, it ain't that far to go. There's the shop. All right, so um, I've already got this trimmed to the left quite a bit. <laughs> Just assuming I'm going to be pulling to the right. Um, so <laughs> wish me luck, kids. Let's see what this hap what happens here. New motor, always painful especially a new mod. Here we go. Hey, 
Okay, off to a good start. Damn. A little wobbly. But I'm not assuming this prop is worth a shit either. I don't know. I can't remember if I balanced it or not. A little death wobble there. So again, that's trim tabs, like Joe said. It's going to make it or break it. Ooh, a little bitch scoots though. I'm not even going to mess with trim tabs today. I just want to get this engine running a little bit. Have a little bit of fun. It's planing perfect. I like that. Turns left pretty nice. Whew, it's a massive death wobble, but that's a good thing. I know what that is. Nice sharp turns. Ooh, almost hit Simon and Garfunkel there. That was almost a catastrophe. I'm gonna check, uh, check everything out, bring it in. Running really good. I'm impressed. So get them trim tabs leaked down a little bit. Just making sure the exhaust is not rattling loose, carbs not rattling loose. Everything looks to be still there. Let's see if we can find a screwdriver in the old slow boat here. I'd like to bring up that, lean that engine out a touch, but I don't think I have a screwdriver down here. I do. Hang on. I forgot when I decommissioned my robo mower, I left the toolkit in the shed there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to lean her out just a touch. I'm going to lean out the low as well, just a touch, a little bit on the low. And let's see if we gain any speed. Yeah, this thing's, I'm impressed, really impressed. Blooded. Well, again, this engine's pretty much new. No worries. Gets worn in. It'll it'll start easier. Whew. Leaning it out a touch did kick it. Get this wobble taken care of. This thing's gonna be insane. Um, so I built two other SS's. I can't remember if I ever told you all that. Years ago. The Coke, I'll put them up here right now. Coke boat and the Night Rider. Go slow here for a minute. And uh, they didn't run this well. I must have gotten better at building or this engine's. This engine's pretty. I don't remember what this engine is. Maybe somebody out there can tell me. I can't remember. Man, that hull is riding beautiful. So that's telling me we just need to bring them tab down, one of the tabs down a tiny bit. I'm going slow again. I just want to set this engine. I'm running about quarter. I'll goose it when I get in front of us here. Hang on. 
That death wobble's scary. So I'm gonna ask Uncle Joe to have a look at this video, see what he suggests. I know it's a trim tab thing, I'm not worried about that. Um, I've run monos before, but see what he says. It's actually not, I'm going into the wind, which is. This boat's awesome. All right. Wow. For an engine that's not even set up yet. Now, part of that also is I've got that rudder trimmed to the left a lot, and that's making it kick back and forth, I'm sure. Skipping right along. I'm not going to lean it out anymore until tomorrow, until we do the hull testing. I just want to set this engine in a little bit, and then tomorrow, if the weather holds out, we'll uh, dial in this hull and really get her flying. Beautiful. A loud little bastard. Sounds great. Turns so sharp, too. Look at that. I'm impressed. I said that yet? Reminds me of death wobble on a drag bike. I used to build drag bikes. <laughs> it's never fun. Hey, you know, I was gonna, um, take this boat apart after this and use the guts for a boat that I'm going to buy for the channel. We're going to do a catamaran build. I might not be taking this apart now. This is pretty fun. These boats are so light too. Plus I need to sharpen and balance this prop too. All right, we're going to bring it in. Probably getting low on gas. And tomorrow... We'll dial her in. Look at that masterpiece. Wow. Yeah, getting low on gas. Brought her in just in the nick of time. Man, I like this boat. Good job, Uncle Joe. Damn. Which is, you know, I'm acting like I never built one before. It was my third one. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. This one's just... Damn. Beautiful. And I'm very rarely impressed with monos. But that's really, really freaking cool. Beautiful boat. All right, kiddos, until tomorrow. Get the water out of this guy. JJ's radio box. Engine's totally good. Not even a. Of course, I mean, as much as it's getting splashed. Wow, beautiful. All right, kids, until the next time. And we did. Ah!